This episode of Noonish is brought to you by JW Group. Screwball, peanut butter, whiskey, mmm. High energy models and events. Tech for troops, T4T, baby. Verve Performance Labs. The original shot sock, not without my shot socks. And specs, wine, spirits, and the finer foods. Uh, this is Jonathan Anderson, a.k.a. J.A., uh, the host of your favorite sports show, Noonish Sports and Tech. Man, coming at you live from the house, man. Enjoying this time off. But anyways, we'll be back in studio next week. But we wanted to put together a special show for you all. Uh, we're going to call this show Sooner Damas. Highlighting your own, very own, old you legendary Mr. Hands, Mr. Yak, Mark Clayton, and his amazing season of predictions. So uh, taking it all the way back to the first week for OU football and uh, all the way to now. So hope you guys enjoy it. Figured it was great time and just before the bowl game. And uh, we'll see you guys next week. Happy New Year and Merry Christmas to you all. Thanks. It's not like the Man. real first week of NCAA football was this week. I know it was last week, right? Dude? Nah, but this was But yeah, this, this was, was the week, man. This was, it was amazing. You know, oh, you got out there, hey, they played a away game at home. And we anytime did. you can pull something off like that, bro, we did. you got some clout. And also, or, you got a hurricane. It, didn't, it wasn't a choice. Yeah, yeah. it was also it's not a choice. <laughs> <laughs> that was a natural disaster that took place. <laughs> yeah, about so, that. Uh, but it was a really good game, right? Yeah, so it was a good game. Out, bro, they had some, some balls. That quarterback took a beating, The quarterback beating, took bro. a beating and kept ticking. That slide, he took a lick in that slide, and kept bro, on ticking. I thought, he, I thought his head got knocked off when he slid. Yeah. And man. I'm talking, his head went like it five went like yards that. deep. Yeah, yep. It was a good shot. I, I say OU was supposed to do that. I mean, yeah. we we Win? No, I said they spo- They were supposed to do that. They were supposed to win. Oh, of course. They were supposed to Absolutely. win. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Um, but it, it's hard to, to measure these preseason games, man, with, you know. When, when it wasn't you acceptable. <laughs> nah. No. Nah. No, that was a poor nah. performance by Oklahoma in hey, the win. It could be, but what if Tulane is really, they, their offense really looked effect- They looked very efficient, bro, on offense. They had some guys. Yeah. They had some guys on offense. I get that. I get that. Can't do it, bro. Tulane rolling to Alabama. I guarantee you. <laughs> oh yeah. I Smash guarantee you. See you see what I'm saying? Like that's period. That's we know yeah. because they're gonna dominate the line of scrimmage every fucking game until they come across somebody who has somewhat equal or yeah. close in talent. Yeah. Or uh, skill. A bit all of that. Yeah. Yeah. But Tulane is not that. Man, we can't yeah. talk. Like, Al- Alabama yeah. is like a uh, minor league pro team, bro. Okay. I'll put it, like, I mean, straight up. Like, that's, that's, that's fine. That's, it's hard to even put we'll them put in Clemson, the Clemson. I'll put, I'll put yeah. Georgia in there. I'll put Clemson up there. Really? Ohio. Huh? Yeah. I, was, I think Georgia, Georgia did this Besides, thing. Even did. the Braves. They did. Georgia, Georgia came to play. I like I liked, I just, I liked that whole state. game. That was a yeah. good game. <laughs> that was a good game. Yeah. Georgia's a fake state. Like, everything's fraudulent. There is going to go. They're all, they're all, no, I mean, they're good, but they're not winning. Championships like man, the Atlanta look, Braves won 14 this, this straight division titles good, and won World Series. This team this year look good. Yeah, Georgia, they, they always good in the SEC East. No doubt. But don't ever win a national championship. Look, Atlanta Falcons, fine. they were up by 28 in the Super Bowl. Got beat. Oof. Matt that's Ryan. Worse. Like dog, like that, that's, that's what I, that's what I mean. Like they all they're good. Yeah, I have no disrespect, but they, I just never believe they're gonna win a national championship. That's any fine. championship. Well, what you Hawks. believe is they will whoop Tulane ass. And Oklahoma <laughs> <laughs> that's well, that's, that's what I'm saying. We that's all saying. Yeah, yeah. So that's nah. it. We definitely know that one. Spencer Rattler came Spencer out. Spencer Rattler. Yeah, Spencer came out. Rattler threw does. a pick. Went on a hot. Got hot. Went on a run. Now you know, in the second half, I mean, I I just felt like man, I don't I don't know that coach actually really trust this kid. Spencer? Yeah. He should have. He, sh- he, he should have. He, he said like he was shaking he up. Should've. He got shaken up a couple uh, times, man. Yeah. I, I just, he, he just, it wasn't clicking for him, man. Yeah. It wasn't, was it? He's I mean, fraudulent. Yep. And, I, and, and so, to, you know, when yeah. I'm. Uh, He's a front runner. Well, and, well yeah, we're in it. But Oklahoma, when I, I look at, you know, it's near and dear to my heart. Yeah. It's hard. Like, for Spencer is going to have to prove me wrong. I would not actually not be surprised if Caleb. Started getting playing time at some point during the season, yeah. and or started mm. the game. Yeah, to be honest, and if you know, we we're, we're not championship caliber with no defensive line. Yeah, that is consistently re, re, removing or replacing the line of scrimmage. Yeah, being hella active in the backfield and or stifling the run. So we don't. We don't. I mean, did we, they lose any of their guys from last year? Did they all come? We back? lost a big. We lost oh, Ronnie Perkins, who was. Okay. 
He was a stud. He was, he was, he was a dude. Hey, it's 24 he back? But you need, you know, four to six. You you need Alabama, LSU, Georgia, yeah. you know, Clemson. No, that caliber of D-line, if you're talking about winning that championship. Yeah. It, today. It, it's 24 back? I forget that guy's name for Oklahoma on defense. Two four is back. Two four. Uh, that guy's in yeah, I can't even say it. Like, oh, he's an yeah, 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 African yeah. name. African. Yep. Yeah, yep. That but guy uh, yeah, he is, is back. An he's solid. He's sideline to sideline. He's. Yeah. I mean, he's great. Yeah. He's, he's. You know. But at the end of the day, championships are won in the trenches. <laughs> yeah. You know, after yeah. that first exciting week where you play some competition, yep. and you got some bumps and bruises yep. from that good competition, you usually want to play a rollover squad. It'd right, guys nice. can heal up a little bit. Nice. Yeah. Right, we get ready for that next tough one that's about to come about. Certain teams. <laughs> yeah, bro. Certain. That, that, that's how the schedule's set up. Right now. Yeah. Uh, I will say Florida State. They put Jacksonville State on the schedule and they took an L. Like what in that's the tough. world? Oh. That's crazy. But we'll get to that in a second. I mean, but I mean Notre Dame. I mean, I, uh, I, hold, I, yeah, yeah. hold on now. Hold on now. Hold on. Yo hold boy. on. We, we dropping the gun. We gonna we talk about your house first. Okay. Talk about your house. Come on. All right. <laughs> Oh, you. I got the maroon on the day, dog. You, you do. know what I'm saying? It's Phillies, but, you know, I still yeah, got it on. I'm rocking it. I'm rocking it, dog. That more it takes in them, just so you know. Yeah, yeah a little darker. Yeah, we're good. A little dark. Yeah, a little more scarlet. A little Not scarlet, but a little, little, little more red. A little red. Yeah, yeah a little, little black, more red. Black, black more red. Yeah. Got you. Got you. Got you. Not quite more but red. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Okay. Y'all blood. Y'all, the, y'all the, bloody. Uh, bloody. Bloody red. We are a little more blood. Yeah. Got you. Like Crimson, healthy, healthy that's red. red. Crimson red yeah. for my Sooner fans. Look closer to Renee's headphones. You know, I got all I got all these Sooner fans following me. You know what I'm saying? I don't even know. I don't know why. They ought to be following Mark. Uh, they don't have to. I'm just playing. Y'all don't like me. Uh, <laughs> We're good. <laughs> and I don't oh, like yeah. y'all. <laughs> it's all good. I'm just playing. I love, I love y'all. I love y'all anyway. I love y'all, man. So, oh, you, man. Yeah. Went out there. And beat up on little old Western Carolina, like boy. Like we were supposed to. 76 to nothing. Yeah. At one point, they tried to stop scoring. Yeah. yeah. They brought, I think I they brought all we, freshmen in. Yeah, absolutely. And still scored the ball. Still, that's the point. Like, you're time. on the field to score touchdowns. <laughs> it's like, what I is going a, on, bro? Yeah. I went on a uh, James Hill show on Thursday. Yeah. And was talking about how, you know, this game, we need to score as much as we can. And keep them scoring nothing. Yeah, because yeah. we need a statement. Like we yeah. had to have a statement, especially after how we started. It, yeah. We dropped two spots. Yeah, like you need a statement game. Yeah. So I'm, I'm, I'm proud that we had a statement game and we made a statement. But at the end of the day, you know. Yeah. Yeah. You know. yeah I, I mean, like, that's, that's what, that's <laughs> what, we what you're about. supposed to do. Right. Yeah, and we and do. That, like that's that, that's what is awesome, and it sucks to be a Oklahoma or one of the yeah. top school because. That was great, yeah. but all right, next. But they, as you, you said, show up, show up again. Yep. they are still on track. They look like a championship squad because they, that yes. that's what championship squads do. Is what they're supposed to do. That's what they're supposed to do. They win the tough games, not none of them. and they beat up the you game, kill, the team. You yeah, annihilate kill the anybody teams. that should not be on the field. Yeah, team. put the you foot on their neck and like let them know you don't have a chance at winning this, bro. Period. Right, I'm going like, to let you live. When right. I take my foot off <laughs> your neck. You when the game on the is bus on. and go home. Yeah. <laughs> but on the <laughs> but you're, like, yeah, no. you're going to be this close no. to death, right? Yeah, yeah. They'll be on the quiet yeah. bus. 24 your, your points away from 100, bro. 24 away from 100. They could have scored They're 100. Close. They're close. But because they are good sportsmen and have yeah. great sportsmanship, they scored 76 mm-hmm. <laughs> to nothing, bro. So Zip. well done, Oklahoma. Great job doing what you're supposed to do, man. Living legend right here, number nine, Probably dog. Guys. You know, hey, Probably, dog. Hey, it, wasn't, it wasn't nothing like watching that number nine on the yeah. field. I don't care who yeah. else wears that jersey, man. <laughs> this dude right here. I was proud of our nine, too. Burners, had a, a tight end, Young Mills. Hey, young Mills, you shout out. You know, if he can't stand rock, bro, Especially it's going to the nine. house, dog. It's only yeah. one option, dog. It's mm. house time. House time, right? Mm. So, oh, you. What a game, bro. Did game. you expect it to be there? No, I did not. Man. I did not. I took I, I bet this game and I took the points. We we were I think it was twenty two and a half. Ooh, lost yeah. that. I took that L. It's lost okay. Though. It's okay. I, I I you know I was proud of our guys for toughing it out. Yeah. <laughs> hey, that's what, Nebraska. That's, that's what talking from about Toledo last week. <laughs> yeah. I know the day uh, the Toledo Rockets. Oh, you're right. Exactly. <laughs> like, oh my goodness. We struggled, but we got that dub. Got that dub. Yeah. But man, no, that, that was, was bro. That, that was, dropped us another spot. Did it? Rightfully so. Mm, yeah. Because nowadays perception matters. Like how oh, yeah. you win matters. You gotta blow yeah. them out. You got to win convincingly. You gotta blow them out, <laughs> man. Yeah. Hey, Jay. Oh, you? What is going on, Spencer Rattler?
Uh, are they going to make a change of quarterback? Alert, alert. Spencer Rattler will be put on the bench soon. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, yeah. like, you got to They struggle. Yeah. Uh, spring game, I told you. Like, I went to the spring game. I saw, I was like, you know what? I don't see any development. That kid from D.C. is legit. And I was like, exactly. I was like, I don't know. Like, Caleb, poise. Yes. Decision-making, sharp. And he knows. Like, knows what I'm going to do. And when it breaks down, he is more under control than Spencer to me. Yeah. That's what, that was my observation back then. Yeah. Here we are in the season. I'm still seeing the same thing. I, I just I don't like Spencer's decision making, why, especially under pressure. Why is the coach sticking with Spencer so so strong? He's the guy. He's on. There's no telling what those conversations was like him coming in. I don't know. But at the end of the day, when you go with a guy, you got you you ride with him uh, to a certain point. Even let the rest of your team down. Like come on now. How's it let the rest of the team down? I'm losing sixteen or winning sixteen to thirteen in West Virginia. Oh, you're talking about with the seven to six. six you're a leader in the team down. Yeah, yes, think, like, yeah, are you yeah. willing to to lose to the a rest certain of your extent? Team? No, we're on I'm the sure. verge of that. There's no bad wins. There's got to be there's, there's got to be whispers in the locker room. Of, they know who's back. Absolutely, yes. So we would all in the locker room be like, uh, yeah, duh. Yeah. But yeah. at the end of the day, when the coach, I mean, when they stick by you, I mean, they're behind you until it's just we they won. Okay, oh. like you're you're a quarterback. We're winning games, but we know this is not enough for championship. We're talking about winning championship. This is not championship football. Like, yeah, at a, we're not there. Therefore, to that point, I think there is going to come a time, and there's going to be a bad game, a bad bad game. Um, honestly, I, I wouldn't be surprised if we got whooped by uh, once we got to uh, Convo and mm-hmm. London. Eighteen. So, all right, so we got the games right here. You know. Yeah. Undefeated OU, one loss over there. We're gonna start with OU, man. Like, yeah, you called it the week before. We took off, right? Yeah. The week before they played against Texas. Yep. But oh, you yeah. said that they might lose to Texas. They came out. They were losing. Oh, they would have lost. They were losing. They would have. And lost. then they made that switch. Yeah. If they don't make that Spencer switch, Spencer Rattler. <laughs> I think he's gonna go to the transfer portal. Portal. Or the draft. Or, yeah. or to the draft. I don't know who would draft him though. Somebody. You think so? In the second round, maybe. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Spencer Rattler that high? Yeah, he can't even win in college. He's a very talented quarterback that can sit somewhere and learn and win. He's a very talented quarterback. Really? Yes. He's, he's a truly very talented quarterback. Okay. So I mean, I respect, like, I, his respect to him, he's a talent. But when it comes to winning right now, just right now, yeah, he's not the best option. And I didn't, I, I, like, I felt that. But I think he needed this situation to happen. Yeah. Which I think is going to ground him in a way that's going to help him become a winner. Yeah. and But he has to go to the right organization. This reminds me of the program. Like, Remember that movie when the starting quarterback, I think he got hurt, though. Yeah. I don't think his job, he just lost his job. But he got hurt and he was humbled. Right? Spencer Rattler, yeah. he's been, he had cameras following him in high school. Yeah. Uh, right? Probably Little League. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah like he's got like that, that thing. Drink, is, his, his, that drink is He's on the next special. QB1 on Netflix or something, right? It's special. Yeah. No, he's been on. Yeah, yeah he's so he's special. been the guy, yeah. right? Uh, and then he gets mm-hmm. to OU, and I'm questioning, you know, I'm starting to question the coach, like, why is he still playing this guy? Yeah. But that's kind of one of those guys that you have to play if he's in your system. Yeah. Right? Because of the yeah. following and, and the expectation. Yeah. Right? But – when you have a talent like the guy behind him yeah. that is just raw and wins, right? That's MJ well, on the bench almost. You know what I'm saying? Like a without a knowing guy. it, exactly yeah. without yeah. knowing, but, right? This 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 mm-hmm. sophomore MJ that got cut mm-hmm. in high school. Mm-hmm. Exactly. You know what I mean? Exactly. But this guy is extra special on the bench. What's his name? Williams? Caleb? Mm-hmm. Caleb Williams? No, yep. bro. So I don't know just, what, but I know. It is there. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, man, the but I, yeah. Like, he seems like a better leader. Like the team cult, like they yeah. they they cultivate, like they they yeah. embrace Caleb Williams. Yeah. Within, it's a completely different energy when Caleb Williams comes in the game. Yeah, it's a fact. And the numbers he's been putting up since he's been playing. I think uh, he's had one game that was a bit tough for him. So yeah, freshman record, yeah. touchdowns in the game, first start. Yeah, come back. I mean, the Kansas game, they thought they were just gonna roll it out there. And yeah, win and. Clearly, that was the case. Yeah. Last week, uh, six tugs, another record. Just Dang. who I they mean, play last week? They played we uh, tech. Texas Tech. Oh yeah. And then before that, Kansas. But yeah, they Texas up, Tech, bro. They put up 
70? No. Oh, this is the wrong. No. What's going on here? Yeah, they played Texas Tech. Wrong numbers they, uh, right here. Yeah, no, nah, it was a, it was a, it was a game that needed to happen for us to land at the number eight spot. <laughs> yeah. yeah. In the rankings. Yeah, it's the wrong. I, I'm sorry, right here in the NCAA section, it's um, all wrong. It's all know. good. It's all but good. But yeah, I bro. I, so they, I couldn't have told you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Yeah. To land at the number eight spot. How would they get to number eight? Not undefeated right now. Because we're number eighteen. You think we're not, so? We're we're okay. We're not like don't. Great. We're not great. Our defense is not where it needs to be to See, be. In I the thought top you were four. gonna say something else. No, we're not that good. Because Renee was baffled. No. By the number eight spot, you know. <laughs> that is fair. You think so? <laughs> eight is fair. Yeah. yeah. For sure. Especially after watching the way they played and struggled against Texas, right? Yeah, and Kansas. Yeah. Don't rank 130, 120. I don't know. <laughs> oh, Anyways, wow. And Kansas. But, I mean, oh, any wow. team yeah. is susceptible to doing that type of, having that type of performance against a weaker team. And you get dinged for it. You yeah. should, rightfully so. Absolutely. Like, you should get dinged they, for it. And we did. won by 40. Right. And so we're getting dinged for, our honestly, our play in the beginning of the season and our defense. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's, that's her. Start with the biggest upset. In NCAA, Big Twelve, the biggest upset. Well, uh, there's two, nah. two, two big upsets in the Big Twelve. The biggest upset. This is it two big one. upsets. In, <laughs> that was a bad hey, one. It was a bad one, man. Was, I don't know. I mean, it, was it really that bad? Because y'all no. actually at least lost to a ranked opponent. Well, yeah, it, it wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad in that we're we we're, we're not a great dominant team. Yeah, and Baylor is a good team. Yeah, like and so y'all at their place. Definitely at their place. It matters more in college than it does in is, the league. Is Baylor's but, quarterback that good? Because he looked really good. Bohannon Saturday. is nice, bro. Is Bohannon is, yeah, if you want. I mean, just. Is he a prospect or is he just a good college player? He's a good college player. Gotcha. He's a good college player. Gotcha. Um, Isn't that he, weird? It is weird. But it is what it is because the level of competition at college versus, versus the NFL, NFL yep. is vastly different. Yeah. The IQ is just on a whole other level. So the Falcons would destroy. Baylor. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Uh, yeah. No. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah, absolutely. Like it's just, yeah, there is no too much. Goodness. Yeah. Oh, what's going on, Rob? Um, no. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I mean, it was, it was, it was a, uh, uh, it was, it was tough to watch because yeah. they don't like they dominate us. Yeah. Like, they really did dominate us. Um, Were they more physical than you expected them to be? No, they have been. Yeah. I mean, Baylor is, yeah. you know, that's a tough, that's going to be a tough win. You know, like going in, you already know, because they are very feisty. Like, they've yeah. been that for years. I mean, Since our apart from our, you know, leaving and then yeah. um, Coach just went to Carolina, yeah. had to come in and kind of read, yep. do things. But he left it in Great. back in good shape, like yeah. really good shape. And here they are. And so, no, I mean, I, I knew it was going to be a tough game going in. I felt like we could have lost it, but I didn't think we would lose like that. Yeah. That's it. Caleb played very loose. And, you know, a lot of the, what what was going on early was Caleb was loose, which was to his benefit. Yeah. There was a lot of plays that were 50-50 balls mm-hmm. um, that went his way. Yeah. When other players were like, oh, yeah, you got to win with that. That's why it's 50-50. That's why it's 50-50. Yeah. But you can't live – like that, as no. Patrick Mahomes has found. Yeah. <laughs> like, no. You got to bring that back in. Yeah, you gotta bring it. Fundamentals yeah. matter. Like, yes, fundamentals right. matter. And you yes. have to hit things on time. You got to throw the ball on time. Like, yeah. 80% of the time, you got to be that. Yeah. And then there's room for backyard ball. Yes. Period. And yes. so he was 80% backyard ball. Yeah. And obviously, you can't live like that. And we, he didn't. And it didn't look good. So he got set down on the bench yeah. for a series similar to – what happened with Spencer, his first year playing, yeah. and then got to go back in, but it, the damage had already been done. Yeah, there was no coming back. Yeah. Like that was they were they were, they were on. Yeah, they were on. I, I didn't expect that at all. No, at all. Man, not and, like that. Uh, yeah, they. Not like that. No, I thought it was going to be a good game. I, yeah. It wasn't even a good game. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, they control. Yeah, that's right. I don't know how many three announcers we had, but we were yeah. good. And Turner. And, yeah, and yeah. you know, that's just that, that was just a bad show on by OU. Um, yep. They're a lot better team than what they displayed this past weekend. I think we know that. I think Baylor no. caused a lot of that. Yeah, I don't. I disagree. I don't think. You don't I think they're a better team than what they show. I think they, they, they are who they are. Yeah, because I, I, I'm, I haven't been impressed with our defense this year. We, I mean, we dominated a. Western Carolina, and we dominated, uh, you know, Tech when they came into town. Yeah. Um, apart from that, like, it's it literally is fairly even matched, and we have to pull out. Yeah, because they struggled against Tulane. 
They struggled against Tulane. And it's not the same. Our front struggled against Tulane. Last year, Tulane. like, the front was the We're missing strength. Ronnie Perkins. Perkins was a – he was not only lead, he was a force. Yeah. He was like our Aaron Donald. Yeah. And of sorts. Like, yeah. he, can, he was like an anchor. And yeah. And he could wreck plays and – you know, it didn't even matter. They could have blew coverage on the back end, but Ronnie Perkins it's so got much to the ruckus. quarterback. Exactly. Yeah. And so it made everybody look good. Yeah. We don't got that. Yeah. And so our defense is an average defense mm-hmm. playing against average to below average teams. Yeah. Which mm-hmm. leads to you're going to win. It's putting a lot of pressure on the offense. Yeah, great. It's a ton of pressure it's putting on a lot of, uh, Especially a lot of pressure on a freshman. On a freshman. Now, it put a lot of pressure on Spencer. Yeah. In our offense. And certainly now yeah. on Caleb. Yeah. And so we're going to struggle. The next game is going to be a tough one. And, and the next one after that is going to be a tough next one. Game? We have Iowa State. Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> Bedlam? And then Bedlam. Oh. oh. And so we can, we can step up. And I think, you know, what can happen is um, for whatever, like offensively we can get hot. We, we were fairly streaky at times. I yeah. think we can get hot offensively. Defensively, I just feel like these games are going to be – it's going to be a shootout. Yeah, straight up. They're going to be shootouts, man. Straight and up, just, man. That's, that's what it is. That's unfortunate. Because Oklahoma yeah, State isn't that bad. That's the state either. of the union. They're, they're pretty dang good. Yeah, um, yeah, they are. I was happy, though. Know, yeah. uh, we're gonna Oklahoma lost OSU. No big no deal. deal. No big deal. I kind of felt that. <laughs> kind of figured that was coming. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Thought, I mean, yeah. That's but number seven versus at number ten. No yeah. big deal. But and the, the yeah, big news coming out of that. Not what we wanted. There was big news out of that? Yeah. <laughs> Man, some dude named Lincoln Riley uh-huh. just Kevin Durant at Oklahoma University. He KD'd him? He KD'd him, Didn't bro. see that coming? Nobody saw that coming? The boy went to Cali. Nobody saw that coming. I did, you saw it coming? I saw something coming. I didn't know it was USC, but I saw absolutely something coming. So you, did, so so you didn't There you didn't was know already was, grumblings with LSU. You didn't really? know if it was. There was already a was, number. You didn't know if it was a <laughs> Amtrak. <laughs> that, that big number was already coming out of LSU for, yeah, for Lincoln Riley? Yes. You didn't, you didn't know if it was wow. an Amtrak or if it was an Illinois Central, but you saw there was a train coming. I knew coming. it was a train coming. <laughs> did, did, he give, did he give Oklahoma the chance to answer back? Uh, b- yes, to he match. Yeah. LSU's offer, I, I believe, was matched. Yeah. I believe that was matched. And then outside of that, then it, that USC offer was just. I know, but I know he's a Pac-12 guy. Oh, okay. He is he's a Pac-12, Pac-12 guy. guy. I mean, and the more I thought, I was like, bro, our team is a Pac-12 team. <laughs> Oklahoma's a Pac-12 team. Yeah. <laughs> like we really All are. Offense, right offense. defense. Right like uh, last year, we different. should have some defense. Yeah, but look at our offense. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, yeah. 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 And they got a lot of guys coming from Cali. They do. Right. And they we had the number had. one. Guy coming out of Cali, coming out of who was Oklahoma. just committed. Who did, and now is going to And SC. Spencer has also joined the transfer portal to yep. go to USC, from what I understand. No, no way. That's what no I way. That's what the I Coach that's is playing that, that five-star kid that, that just decommitted from Oklahoma and committed to USC. He's playing him. Everything I've read just says Spencer's going to USC now. We'll see. But it's I like, doubt it. My, my thought I was, why would he go to USC when he wasn't even playing at OU? Yeah, I, was, I highly doubt it. You know? Riley, yeah. Riley's apparently pulling uh, Malachi Nelson with him to USC. Who? Malachi. No, Lincoln is pulling Malachi. Yeah. To New York. Yes, to Malachi's right. going to play. So that's Spencer the, that's the going five-star. makes that's the five star. Yeah. Malachi's going to play at USC. Right. Like, starting this fall, Malachi's in. So yeah. so how do you feel about it? Are you okay with it since y'all got Bob Stoops? Like, but I love Bob Stoops. Man. Yeah. And I ain't you even know, know. I ain't even know. Oh, you got, but I Bob, love bro. Bob Stoops. Bro. I love Bob, bro. Bob's cool. He's he's gotten so much cooler. <laughs> Over the year, and his, even in his retirement yeah. year, like that's little how break, goes, though. yeah, like, that's, that's little, awesome. like the first guys that, that, that experienced Bob Stoops. He's like, right, exactly. right up on I gotta get him, yeah. But then you know, now? over time, he's like, oh, oh man, yeah, yeah, you know, so, let's take a shot. Yeah. Over it's time. like they've already proven themselves, they've exactly. won, you've won. I've got no reason exactly. to be this guy anymore, no doubt. And he's like, no it, it's when it's like, why won't Bob Stoops just take the job? I know, I don't know, but I'm, I mean, I still got hope that you know, either it's him. Uh, Brent Venables has is, is, is been brought up. Yeah. The D coordinator from Georgia has been brought up. And, but the way, uh, the way he Rule. talks is like he doesn't want to take the job. I know. Like, I'm just helping. I'm here for now. <laughs> yeah. I'm filling in the gap. The next guy. Who are, yeah. You know, we yeah. got some great candidates, Who, you know. Yep, yep. That's fine. That's but fine. But I feel like Bob Stoops would be amazing for the pro. He's still fairly young. That's fine. I mean, he is, but he also is, is enjoying life is it, is as that, it is. Is that number going up he, every time he says? 
Texas. Nah. Uh, not the next guy. He, yeah. Hey, nah, like, kind of like you. He kind of he kind of see what life is like when the outside. Of the, yeah, yeah. I did. I'm <laughs> like, yeah. I'm like, man. I shoot. Oh, I, I can do this. I, I can, can do this. Yeah, I can. Yeah, yeah I'm yeah, with it. Hours. I like that. That's a lot of time. That's a lot of time. No, yeah. man. Yeah, I think he he enjoying that. Yeah. Uh, but uh, you know, I, I think there's some great candidates. Uh, and and you know, big hindsight, looking at. I'm like, damn. Well, we are going to the SEC. Mm-hmm. This team is not built for the SEC, Mm-mm. and and the culture that Lincoln was building is not a SEC culture. No, um, that's a good point. This is this is actually really good. SEC it's really like, good timing. SEC is like Baltimore Raven football. It's <laughs> week in and week out. Yeah, you, yeah. It, it is gritty. Play, it's tough. If you don't come play, yeah, yeah. you're gonna get manhandled. Yeah. It's grown men. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, at the same time, I was like, you know, this was good. This yeah. was good because we need somebody that is greedy, that's tough, that builds that culture, that mentality yeah. has to come back to Norman, Oklahoma, especially going into the SEC. So who would be the number one option? Brent Venables. Brent Venables. He'll be number one. And where's, me, he, where's he at currently? He's the D.C. at uh, Clemson. Oh, oh God! Highest paid defense coordinator in the country. Yeah, for a reason. Come from Oklahoma, recruited me out of high school. Was the most intense guy that I've been around. Oh, so he's already like been Ray in Lewis. the program. Yeah, he yeah he's family already. Okay, gotcha. And so that's why a big part of it is, you know, let's see uh, Brent back in the Crimson, mm-hmm. and we know you know the mentality. We know where he come from. Yeah, defense like, first. Defense period. Yeah, and, and, and SEC. If you have a defense, you got a chance to win you got a chance. any game. That's it. Yeah, we gotta have it. Yeah, and I was like, he can recruit big man. Yeah, he he put I don't know how many D, first round D linemen in the league so like yeah out of Clemson, Clemson. Yeah. yeah bro like, yeah, I think he had three on D line at once. People give Dabo the, the the props out there, but it's really that defense, defense has been getting that all the shine in the it. NFL. Like Man, that has longevity. That's been having longevity. Yeah, yeah, bro. And so I mean, that's my number one. I would love to see BV back. Uh, you know, hearing Matt Rule, I, I like what Matt Rule did. You know, down Baylor. Yeah. I, I mean, he, he. I feel like he's an NFL guy. Though. He is an NFL guy, but uh, what I, he's a program builder, and mm-hmm. he builds tough. Mm-hmm. Pro, like their that teams that he had down south was tough. They were yeah. tough, you know. Yeah. And so I, at the end of the day, it's like who, who's going to bring some toughness back to Norman? Yeah. What about Dion? I don't think it's gonna be. I don't, uh, he, I don't know. I think Dion's his cameras, his glitz. He's, he's like he's a bringing the guy. Cowboys. Yeah, but still, it's still Dion. Like yeah. I, I think he's like bringing Cowboys to to Norman. That ain't gonna work. It ain't no. That ain't gonna work. I need, I need somebody that not necessarily glitz and glam, just shine. I was and I was the other day. I was like, look, part of it is recruiting a mentality, not necessarily stars. Yeah. For us, yeah. I think we mm-hmm. need to consider that. Yeah, absolutely. You know, stars absolutely. are great, but. You know, you, you need some dogs. And, and you, don't waste your time. Kids you don't want to waste your time. You don't want to waste your time. That will do anything you say. Going to visit a guy that is not, no way in how, going to come to Norman, Oklahoma. You don't want to do that. Yeah. Um, you know, and, our, and, and, and for me, uh, if, if defense is priority number one. Mm-hmm. Defensive line is priority number one of priority number one. Yeah. Uh, and then building back. Yeah. Um, and so whoever that guy is, Needs to have the type of respect when he steps into a living room mm-hmm. that says, you know what, I, I feel confident that I'm going to be able to go to the league with this guy. So we're going to get to it now, man. Let's right. get to it. Let's so it's some, some big news, right? And shout out to you last week on the prediction. Or I mean, it wasn't even a prediction. It's just who do you want to just see a, get that job? A feel. Right? Yeah. And, and, and you mentioned this gentleman by the name of Brent Venables. That, yep. Yes, right? sir. And, and, and you talked about how he came and recruited you, and you talked about what OU is lacking right now and what we need, the type of recruits we need. Mm-hmm. And it was a certain energy that he brought that mm-hmm. you just – what was it about this guy? Because it's ultimately, electric. as we found out on what, Sunday? Yeah. This man got the job. Got the job. GTD. Well, they said, they said we got our guy. <laughs> got like, we guy. got our guy. Like, straight up, we got our guy. Got it, man. And, and the, I'll say at that airport when he flew in, Thousands, thousands. Yeah, greeted him. Was yeah. awa- was waiting. And That's some old school and it was stuff cold. right there, bro. Like, That's some old school stuff. Like my, old. you know, like when the Cowboys uh, landed. Lee, boom, my yeah. Or, yeah, <laughs> bro. But then, like, yeah, Cowboys Straight landed. So like everybody. Back. So this was a this was big, collective bro. want out yeah. of the OU Nation. Is yes. that what y'all call y'all saying? Collective want. I like, I like that. OU That's Nation. Wh- That's yeah. really well said. Yeah. It was a collective want. Yeah. And it was very emotional. I'll say it was very emotional to have him back because. That ties us to 
the beginning of an era that was very dominant. Yes. And filled with championships. Yes. Obviously winning one, but just consistently going to national championships. Yeah. Yeah. And that's what you want. And y'all's defense. Like, that's what you want. Y'all's defense. Y'all had they, great offense nah, throughout defense that time as well. Drove that. Right. We can't yeah. forget about the Adrian Petersons and the no Michael Murrays and the Heisman, Mark Clintons Clintons and the Jay White Heisman. Yeah. Hype, uh, Hype was, when he was there, he was yeah. still offensive player. To you. Like yes, y'all had some solid offensive players come through there. We did. But that defense the is defense what brought it home for you guys. Absolutely. Y'all's D line. I can't remember a year where y'all's D line didn't dominate. Right. Until. As, as of late, certainly, yeah. certainly. Right? Yeah. So, yeah. how did that feel? How, I mean, I want you to talk about it, bro. Like, that's, yeah. you know, what what does that mean to OU to have Brent Venables back, bro? Bro, all the, I mean, and, and I think I know as a state, the OU Nation collectively know and is, is very confident in the fact that, okay, this is what Venables is – uh, associated with we 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 connect championship with BV we connect toughness with BV and we know where we're going we know yeah we're in the Big 12 but we're about to head into the SEC yeah there's no fucking way you're going to compete in the SEC without being tough yes and having a defense yeah period the yeah. end yeah. period period so I was like look even with you know wing and leaving it was like this was hands down the best timing and the best place mm -hmm. Uh, for the university, and here's a a mega blessing in disguise. Yeah, this guy. So who? And, and you've been through that. you've been through recruiting with Brent Venables, right? Right, and people that have right. questions like about his recruiting ability. Right. What do you have to say about that? Oh, uh, he. And so I I told uh, uh Joe Harris, he's the president at the university, and I was like, man, look, BV came to my house. And I don't, I don't quite remember any, much of what he said. He didn't even say much. But uh, all I could do was feel the passion. And he's like, we're going to make a hell of a player out of you. Mm -hmm. And I was like, bro, I, I'm an offensive guy. But just feeling that, yeah, I want to go hit somebody. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I want to go hit somebody. Like I was like, yeah. man, yeah. yeah, yeah, coach, yeah. Like and that I'm, makes in, you I'm a physical in. Team. It makes you a physical team, especially yeah. when your receivers are thinking like that. That's what I'm saying. Your receivers are like, hey, they look forward to blocking I'm gonna get, on one plays, bro. I'm gonna get me a pancake. Yeah, like we took <laughs> wow. pride in that, bro. Yeah, we, we took pride in that. Yeah, and if that's what your receivers are doing, you know your O line, your fullbacks, your yeah. tight end, like. And that's offense. Yeah. Then we go to defense. That's a whole nother animal. Yeah. But feeling that from him, mm -hmm. and I know other guys that got recruited by him felt the same way. Um, uh, Garrett Hartley, yeah. Super Bowl winning kicker. Yeah. Your ain'ts, Saints. <laughs> yep. Yep. He sent me a message on Instagram the other day. Uh, Saint kicker. Mm -hmm. He's right. a kicker. Kicker. He was like, bro, he is like the guy, like, and you know him, same thing. Like, I'll, BV just had me gassed up, like, yeah, just, just wanted, like, whatever, like, I'm, I'm with it. Somebody. Yeah, kicker. <laughs> and we had a, so we had a, a one of the viewers um, uh -huh. asked us, right? Yeah. Um, with Lincoln Raleigh, did he did he struggle to recruit good talent, mm -hmm. or did he not show the ability? To develop the players once they got there like did he have good talent and just right. didn't develop them or was it the recruits that came in that just weren't as strong and the type of players that oklahoma is accustomed to having yeah no i looking at it i feel like it was a little bit of both yeah. to be honest um uh which is you know it's hard to say because you you feel like you know we bring good coaches in bring good staffs in and i feel like we could develop players and turn them into whatever all americans yeah. pro guys whatever um but i feel like it was a little it was a little bit of both um because gotcha. just eye test alone mm -hmm. when i look at our or, or d line or line fine d line mainly because i think the trenches i will always say games one in the trenches mm -hmm. um when i look at our d line we didn't look like your georgia or your alabama yeah or your ohio state for that matter yeah or your auburn um lsu guy like we we just didn't look the part for sure and, then and you're I, talking about under lincoln riley and his, under lincoln and his tutelage yeah and surely i mean parts of the end kind of of coach stoops is i feel like we were, we did not get those guys that were just big and athletic yeah that could just cause havoc and tommy harris's your tommy's yeah double i mean dan cody you know yeah i mean, there's a lot of them. I mean it 
I mean, even before KK, like y'all were like a B line factory Kimes, for a while, bro. Kelly Griggs. I mean, we had, I mean, there was just dudes that were just either they were wide and strong and kind of quick or yeah. just kind of lengthy, lengthy and long and just, and they could run, get around the corner. Yeah. Jonathan yeah. Jackson, who's 4 4 guy, like, yeah. Come on, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But um, I feel like that we we did not have, but in a, you know, development is a, it's, that's a thing. But I, overall, the culture and, how we took the field and what product was put out there week in and week out yeah said a lot more for sure then we didn't get this five star but and we didn't develop never that been guy oklahoma's you know um to have a five recipe, star right like yeah or, or their formula it's never been five star five star, guys five star, five star, it's no. been three and four star guys develop. that develop into exactly five, all american like you get everything out of those all guys conference. exactly and they go on exactly. to play at the next level and that's what and I, that's that development bro, that oklahoma has brought to for. the table for years that's right right yeah and, Coach and, one with other guys yeah so i mean this is kind of a blessing in disguise very much so and yeah. i think bv we, he gets that i mean in, in his speech you know he he talked you know, for a while, and it was it was great. But a lot of everything that he had to say in, in regards to, um, you know, relationship, drive, faith, family, had nothing to do with winning. Yeah. Um, it was the heart of a person. Yeah. And yeah. I feel like what they did so and what nothing you know, to part do with of winning, what, but everything to do with winning. But yeah. everything exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah. On and off it was the, the heart. Yeah. And so bringing in a a two star mm -hmm. that. I just feel like this kid, like, literally will do anything. Yeah. I, like, and we have the toolage, we have the resources yeah. to develop his size or his, whatever. I can kind of, but it's there. that part. You just got to put them wires together to make it come we can, out. Exactly. Yeah. We can put stuff around him, but this hard part, yeah, uncoachable. Uh, no, you can't not. Yeah, yeah, you can't yeah. get that. Like yeah. you can't. You can't buy that. that. Yeah, no, sure. that's either there or it ain't. For sure. And so coming across kids like that, I don't think. I, I think there's certain coaches that they can see that, yeah, mm -hmm. and we'll honor that and bring a kid in in that regard. And you get your, um, you know, the guy who maybe even walks on, mm -hmm. but he makes it because they can see, like, okay, yeah, he he fits our system, yeah. And I I will not have to worry about that guy at all. He's gonna give it all all the time, period. The end. Um, and that culture being built. Mm -hmm. Of a, bu a bunch of heart guys who just they're all about like that's it football, yeah. um, and not even all of them going to be like that. But with a, a enough good a enough majority, to yeah. have a a, a a a type of leadership in the mm -hmm. locker room is so important. I think BB definitely gets that. So he is the guy, man. Congratulations, OU, for getting the guy you guys love. Congratulations, mm -hmm. Brent Venables, man, new yes, head sir. coach of the Oklahoma University.